Barbara Huddleston and her husband Jason White Knight wanted to bring some fun, exciting family entertainment to Greater Lafayette. So they took their passion for an outdoor sport and brought it inside and named it the Spinning Axe. We are an indoor axe throwing venue. We allow people to come in and throw axes. We give everyone training on how to throw the axe as well as safety procedures that need to be followed to keep everyone safe while they are participating. Safety is a priority at the Spinning Axe. Huddleston says all axe throwers are monitored by an axe coach. During the hour that they're here throwing, the axe coaches are nearby and helping them. If people aren't sticking it or aren't quite making it to the board, our axe coaches are here to help you. It's more technique and finesse than it is just for strength. It does sound intimidating, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, the first time I threw axes, I was a little intimidated, but then by the fourth throw, I was in love with it. Huddleston says while axe throwing is entertaining for the whole family, there is an age requirement. We say general rule of thumb is 10 and over, um, but it does come down to that individual's physical strength. Um, it is a one and a half pound axe, is the smallest axe, and you are throwing at 12 feet. So as long as someone can throw that one and a half pound axe 12 feet, they're certainly welcome to participate. The spinning axe offers concession style snacks and has a full bar. Individuals and groups are welcome. Huddleston says response has been so good since their January opening that Saturday axe throwers will need a reservation. We thought that we'd, we'd bring something new and exciting. We know people are wanting to get out and do things. Um, axe throwing is a socially distance by nature, so we feel like we're, we got on something good and hope people enjoy it. The Spinning Axe is open daily at 351 South Street in downtown Lafayette. Find more information on Facebook at The Spinning Axe. Dave North, Star City News, Lafayette.